about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Fresno State has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Wow, he just booted that one into the next county. Let's hear from the referee. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. His errant kick has given the offense a great starting point to begin their drive. Absolutely. The defense will have to come out with major intensity to make up for that blunder. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. A strike complete. He's down. They'll get six yards. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Give to the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. That makes it 33. Seven yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. First and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Wide open and he just drops it. Number 87. That makes it second and ten. Nice grab on the play. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From the 37-yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's got it with room to run. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. This is the ninth play of this drive. Seven. And he gets a yard on the run. They're at the seven. Second down. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. This is the 11th play of this drive. Gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Idaho is looking to go up by three. It's up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. Tackle made at the 27. 
Fresno State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brett, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Steps out of bounds at about the 31. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. He goes out of bounds right around the 34. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. Brad, it's a, it's a first down. And, and I, obviously, this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going. And for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get. And that's into the end zone. Knocked out of bounds at the 43 yard line. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set. And he comes in with his dime package. Man, oh, what a hit. He's hit and taken down. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination to get. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 39-yard line. And he's taken down at the 26. to the back and can't connect. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He zips it out to the right. They can't connect. Incomplete. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away. And he missed it right. No good. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Idaho is up by three. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. From their own 42-yard line, first down. And that one's incomplete. That makes it second and ten. To him again, complete. Brought down at around the 50. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, Idaho's got a three point lead.
back to the action now here in the second quarter. He's at the 40. He's at the 30, makes it to the 27, and that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. First and 10, ball on the 27. Idaho has a three-point lead. Quick throw to the tight end. And down he goes, right around the 12-yard line. Number 51 with the tackle at the 12-yard line. From the 12-yard line. Second down. Out of bounds, right around the six-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight play, 76 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They missed a chance at three points on their last drive. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. About the 29 yard line. Number two makes the set to at the 29 yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Caught open field. He's out of bounds to the 36 yard line. That's a great tackle at the 44 yard line. to the tailback he's at the 30 he's knocked out of bounds at the 23 first down 10 to go ball on the 23 yard line He might want it all here and does. No, incomplete. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, 
You really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. Passes it to the middle of the field. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And the screen pass goes nowhere. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up. And he nails the long field goal. He didn't make it by much, but it counts. That certainly wasn't the best kick of his career, but it did do the job. Like Brad said, it counts. Fresno State ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. He makes it to the 18-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Idaho is up by a touchdown. And he tackles him hard at the 11-yard line. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Watch out here, and he's level at the 18. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 18. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That's good for Gaines. That makes it second. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Fires it again to his tight end. And he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. Gain of six yards. First down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 40. Idaho is going to have to use their second time out of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40 yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds. The 17 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Idaho is up seven. Looks to the end zone. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. And yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 22-yard line. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on the 22-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook.
get to that quickly. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. The Vandals lead it by two touchdowns. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 31. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. That makes it Second down and 14. Ball on the 28-yard line. And he throws it away. with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out, and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives. And they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of seven. They're about four yards away here on third down. He fights forward to around midfield. And the goal line defense digging in here. Here's the halfback. Tackle made at the 49. And they'll fail on fourth down. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. They bring him down in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 11. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 48. 
And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. And they get nice yardage on that run. Complete brought down, nothing doing. That's a good one. You don't want that? Third down. You don't want that? Gets it, he's in space. He's taken down at the eight. forward to about the seven. And he dives forward. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Heading for the corner. Touchdown, Fresno State. He splits the uprights with the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 22. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Well, this offense is going to have to do a better job on this drive. Remember the last time, they went for it on fourth down and came up short. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can do Nice run to the left there. Second down and six. Ball on their own 26. Idaho is up a score. Quick throw. Brought down at the 36. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. There. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40. And down he goes, right around the 30. to his tight end, nothing doing. That was what I'd call a power play in pass defense. He made solid contact and forced the incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. What a catch. 
catch and a big touchdown from the tight end. I'll tell you, this tight end is a big-time football player. He might like to talk a little bit out there on the field, but he has the type of game to back it up. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. The kick goes out of bounds. Here's the referee. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking, kicking team. team. Seems like kicking off should not be such a hard thing to do. Still but we really do see this happen a lot. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. it in and stopped in his tracks with that test. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. A quarter to go, and can they pull the upset? 24-10, Idaho. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Up the middle for a nice game. Under heavy pressure. And he just gets rid of it. Three plays and no first down, and now it's decision time for this offense. Well, the defense did what they had to do so far. They're showing a lot of heart out there. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He fights forward to about the 33. That brings us second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 33-yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out right around the 42-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. They run it for the first, and he stops. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see Pushes what it foul. is. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Offense. That penalty drives them back, Still and they're shooting there. themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's first down and a lot. Tackled after a decent pickup. seven yards on that play this defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes so the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play
passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 13. Just under three to go in regulation. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Looking for the corner. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. the stop at about the 19-yard line. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good enough to pick up the first down. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. Just under two to go in the game. Tackle around the five-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. Touchdown, Vandals. That's a huge touchdown on the ground, Herbie. That might do it. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Fresno State's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Five wide. There's a strike complete. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. Under a minute left. The spike will stop the clock. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Come <laughs> on. 
sacked. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. Keep 15. Keep 15. 41's got it. 41 the mic. Let's go. He's pushed out of bounds around the 48-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. He airs it out. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. And he hits him hard at the 22-yard line. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. sure are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. <laughs>